Hello, I'm Sadie and I'm sat in front of my hedgehog highway. It's a little hole I've made at the bottom of my fence to let any visiting hedgehogs or other travelling wildlife like frogs or toads get into our garden for a bit of a rummage around. I'm hoping now that the nights are getting a bit longer that we're going to catch one visiting us fairly soon. We're ready for them when they get here. We've added a ramp in our pond to help them get in if they fall in. We've got log piles and rotting wood which will encourage all sorts of slugs and other invertebrates for them to feed on. And when autumn comes I'll make some piles of leaves for them to hide away in should they choose to stick around for a winter nap. You might already know that hedgehog numbers have really fallen in the last 50 years. In fact it's thought that there's fewer than a million left in the UK. So if you've got one visiting your garden, you really are very lucky. One of the problems hedgehogs might be having is that so many of us have got these big sturdy fences nowadays. They look really smart, but they're not so good for letting wildlife travel between our gardens. So it's a really good idea to just add little gaps every few metres or so around the garden. They don't need to be big, just about 10 to 15 centimetres square will be big enough for even the chubbiest of hoggies to get through. And of course we need our neighbours to do the same, and their neighbours, and their neighbours beyond that. Hedgehogs can travel up to two kilometres a night looking for food. So in order to give them the room they need to roam, we really need to work together. So why not have a chat with your neighbours and see if you can turn your whole street into a hedgehog highway. Don't forget we've got some really good resources if you want to find out more about hedgehogs on our website. And if you are lucky enough to spot one, please tell us about it using our online form. Since we started recording, we've had about 700 sightings, and it gives us a really good idea about where they are in Worcestershire. We think they're fairly widespread, but there are definitely some gaps, so we need as many people as possible telling us when and where they see them, so that we've got a really good understanding of how they're doing, and whether things like this are really making a difference to help. Thanks for watching. Bye.